Greetings and salutations. My name is Colin Moriarty. This is the illustrious Nick Scarpino. Hello. We're back here for a Teaching Tuesday right here on Kind of Funny Games. Nick, we've been trying to blaze our way through Mega Man 2, one of those great NES games from back in the day. And we've been beating it stage by stage no, by stage. I don't have a good memory, but I'm trying to figure out which... Why would they design characters that are just all black? Uh, it's because we've beaten these seven particular, oh, we have. particular gentlemen here. Okay, I see. So we, we, we started with, I think we, we, we beat Bubble Man and Flash Man and Metal Man early on. Then we went through guys like Wood Man and Quick Man and then Crash Man. And, and Tim and I just went through Air Man. And now we're going to go through Heat Man. You only have one option left, Heat Man, who's the, who's the robotic Zippo lighter. So go ahead and select him. So real quick, before yep. we get into that, uh, Wood Man was my favorite. Mm -hmm. Heat Man's coming up on my favorite, though, for okay. a couple of reasons. One, he looks like he's stoned out of his mind. He, is, he does look a little stoned. He, he looks a little cross-eyed. He looks bonkers. Well, and and what, what, so select, plus, uh, select him, and I like how he's just, he's a lighter. Oh, so, he, he's literally a Zippo lighter. Yeah. Great. Yeah, I'm coming at you, Heat N Man. Now, at you hard. now we ha we've had the weapon for a while that we need to defeat, defeat Heat Man, which mm -hmm. is the bubble lead, but we needed item two from Air Man before we really dealt with him. Um, now we have it, and so we can um, we can continue on our way. The stage is is somewhat difficult, but it's kind of meter too. Like there's just um, well, for, first of all, you might want to press start and metal. Oh, oh you shit. just jumped right. You got, you got me. You got me wound up with start. That's all right. All right so, so should I get the metal blades out? Press start and get the metal blades out because right. that'll be the the, uh, the suction cup dudes and the floating enemies with one hit, and that's essentially the only enemies you're going to be fighting here, with rare exception. Um, so remember that these guys come out. Remember you can shoot up, so if you find yourself underneath them, um, you can always shoot up when they're coming down like that. Damn it, man, they come everywhere. Come correct, son. Nice. Doing a little sprinkle there. That was a really nice <laughs> nice sequence of shots. So yeah, you gotta be careful with these jumps because these guys spawn. The good the important thing to know is that there's only gonna Hold be on. three on the screen at Which any, any I given can't, time. Nobody. I can't do it. I can't do it. <sighs> Okay, no, you have to get off me, though, buddy. Here, come to Colin. Here, come to Colin. Here, bring him, in, bring him to me. All right. Sit. Um, so, yeah, be careful. They can only spawn, so ah. jump out. There you go. And you got an extra life, so you, you rebounded. There can only be three of these guys on the screen at once, so you can always oh kind of gauge God. where they're coming from. Ah. Oh, you're getting a little too... You're getting a little too... You're getting a little too... Getting a little too I feel like you're getting a little shaky. Like, you got to just kind of calm down, right. center yourself. Good. Yes. 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 Nice. This, this is a like a swarm attack. Yeah, you got to just kind of you have to balance attacking with keeping moving. And this is what I'm trying to tell you. If you can keep so, as many of these guys on screen that are not bothering you as possible, oh, okay, they I won't spawn more. Gosh, I really I, I lost it today. I've come undone. You have come undone, but it's, I mean, it is what it is. So let's just see. This stage has beaten me. You have, this is your last guy already. So yeah, be well, careful. I got it. I mean, I believe in you. If, it's, if it means anything. Oh, yeah. I'd rather just keep going, huh? Yep, they'll just keep spawning. All right. Okay. Good. Oh, Whoa, what did I do? Sorry, wrong Press one. Uh, one. There you go. Nice. All right. Okay, good, good, good. Nice, very nice. Keep going, just ignore him and scroll off the screen. Now here, um, Jeez, you're gonna want to go. Yeah, what, these guys will speed up when you jump up to their level, so just quickly jump to the left. And depending on how you played here, you might be able to. Ah, uh, didn't work. We, that guy sometimes gets scrolled off the screen. Yeah, go back now. He'll be gone. So in here, switch up before you go down the ladder to um, your air. Okay. A. What does this do? This is the heal. See, just just. It's, it shoots out three tornadoes up and out. Okay. Oh, this I'm sorry. This is the wrong part. I'm thinking of the wrong part. This is you, we'll have to get there first. All right. So, oh, the, I hated this level when I was a kid. So yeah, and that's why we waited for that's it. why we waited for item two. I'm glad that that we got to see this. So I totally forgot about this part. I um, hated So the this. idea here on the bottom right square is to jump on that square and then quickly just jump up oh, again, and then it's easy. Just you have to just be quick. So 
Wait, yeah, so like, jump on it now and then jump up immediately. Oh, I see what you're saying, okay. And then no guy on the left, and then you can just jump over him and out. Got it. Nice, and then, yep, yeah, jump to the perfect. Oh, oh, you had it! Okay, let's just patiently wait. Patiently wait, okay, perfect. Oh. Oh, man. Alright, this thing shakes your confidence, and once mm. it's shaken, you shouldn't have played iDarby or whatever the hell that thing was. Nice, nice, now jump off, there you go. Got it. All right, now you want to switch, I, I, I fooled you with the arrow, that's my fault, the arrow is not used till later. Um, so you might want to go back to blades. Um. <laughs> <laughs> so he knows I'm there, you know what I mean? Now there's there's some options here that you might want to explore, but I don't ne necessarily think you do, and, we'll, and I'll show you what I mean in a minute. Um, so that, yeah, jump on over. Oh, go back and get, oh. What happened? You needed health, and you could have used that health that the guy dropped. Nice. Now, see these platforms here, these special ones? Yeah. You can actually use crash bombs to destroy them, but you don't necessarily have to. You just need to like be able to jump. Yep. And over. Perfect. Oh. Close. You have the right idea. I like it. I like it. Oh, it spawned you off. <laughs> All right. How could I'll get... that even be a thing? Why is that a thing? Because two of those sprites cannot occupy the same space. Oh, my God. Physics. So we'll, right. we'll get through real Show quick. Show me how it's done. All right, so let's get through here. I feel like this this stage more than many others is about speed. Oh, <laughs> I mean, there's something about this stage that just wrecks your confidence. Yeah, well, I I was actually anticipating this is this would be a funny video. I was actually anticipating that I was gonna collect the um the energy that I dropped, but my metal blades had not diminished at all. Uh, so he just ran right through it. So yeah, I think I think again, I think getting through with speed is there's like something about it. Um, it doesn't necessarily have to be done quickly. I my brother kind of plays the stage a little more methodically, for instance. But um, the idea generally is to try to keep as many of those guys on the screen if you can, because the game cannot spawn more than three of them at a time. So you see, like all those guys are on the were on the screen at one time. Right, that makes sense. And so the game just doesn't have the memory to deal with it. Um, and uh, so it's it's just it's a different way to play. You don't have to play that way. Um, some people play it like really methodically and, and I think the stage is somewhat difficult but once you get through Bubble Man's and Air Man's stage you should come here and just get rid of this stage as quickly as possible because it's just a straight pain in the ass. Now, do you need a specific uh... Let's see if I can spawn them out. Oh you got both of them. Do you need a specific uh, uh, power to beat this guy? Uh, bubble Weed's good to have um, from Bubble Man uh, for sure because he's a pain in the ass without it. So we have that. But Air Man gives you item two, which is basically the rush jet of Mega Man. And with it, um, you'll be able to skip the entire part of the stage, which we did not get to yet, but Got I'll it. show you I'll show you what it's all about. Yeah, so let's wait for him to spawn. And I'll show you what I mean with the crash bombs. So for instance, if you want to go here and just go like this, you can just get rid of those. Well, that's easier. It's not necessarily easier, I don't think. Like, I don't, like, it, it is what it is, kind of. Like, with this one, it's actually not easier at all. I just jump over it. We can actually grab this for the crash bombs, even though we don't need it. I am OCD. And then we keep on moving. Um, now, here's where you need item two. Now, you want to see, this is the scariest sequence of disappearing blocks in Mega Man history. Okay. And you can just skip it. If you go here, and just... Oh, see, that's easy. That's just way easier. But this is why, and this is why, it, it is why you need to beat Airman before you come here. Otherwise, you do that all on the blocks, and it's hard. Oh, uh, that's brutal. And so this is what I was talking about in your playthrough too. I made some mistakes here with you, which I apologize. This is when you need the air shooter. So, got it. Um, you can go like this and like that, and then destroy his ATST kind of guy, and then immediately just kind of put you him just in the have like a, like a finesse with this, don't you? Now, who are you now? So I'm. Um, this is Bubble Lead, uh, Bubble, Bubble Man stage. Some people call some people call it Bubble Lead. I've heard from good authority that it's Bubble Lead, not Lead. I, I always called it Lead okay. as a kid, but I mean you can call it Bubble Lead. It's the same thing. So he's gonna do this attack where he shoots the fire, and every time you hit him, he'll come at you like that. And so you just plant the bubble like that. And since we're playing on normal difficulty, he dies very quickly. Wow. Um, and that's basically it. So all the Robot Masters are done. Wow. Uh, so and this Never brings us see it. and this brings us to Wily's Castle. Um, and let's just, you know, let's just sit here and really reflect on the experience, but also enjoy the int introduction to Wily's Castle, and then we'll play Wily's Castle. Sounds good. Um, at a different time. Uh, I guess Greg's up next, and we'll get through the rest of the game. And of course you get, um, 
you know, three different times throughout the game, you get different items. We had item two, of course, and we had um, item three, which is just a scrawler from Heatman. You get item one, which are platforms, and you'll need them in Wily's Castle. Um, but I love the intro to Wily's Castle, and so I just want to watch it as we as we end this video. I'm gonna post that for this. And this is what I hate, especially when people speedrun this game or try to play quickly, is you cannot skip this stuff, and it's just so annoying. So there he is, Dr. Wily, and the ferret. What's he Dr. doing Wiley. with this sweet UFO? Look at that thing. These big ass eyebrows. It's awesome. He looks like a twisted Einstein. He is. That's basically what he is, and so this is Wily's castle. And oh my will, god, and, it looks like a twisted Einstein's castle. Like and, brilliance meets severe drug addiction. And we'll be going there next time on Teaching Tuesday, so thank you for joining us. I'm Colin, this is Nick. Stay tuned for more on uh, Kind of Funny Games. We appreciate your support. Until next time, goodbye.